Welcome to this tutorial on Print Merge using CorelDRAW Graphic Suite X4. We have added new features to the Print Merge in CorelDRAW X4. The ability to edit fields and records within an existing data file, as well as being able to save the finished merge to a new document. I'm going to run through two examples of merging data, and once I'm done, we'll also step into the Imposition tool to show you how to output multiple documents on a single piece of stock. So let's take a look. What I'm going to do is open an example of a door plate for a local high school. These are the door plates that will be put on each classroom. From the file menu, I'll select Print Merge, then Create Load Merge Fields. Now, just to show you how we would start one from scratch, I'll select Create New Text. In the text field, I'll type Subject, then click on the Add button. Next, I'll type in Room in the Number field and click Add. Then click Next again. I'm now ready to create my records. Under the column, I'll type the first room number, for example, 101. Room 101 is History. So I'll also type History in under the class heading. Once I have this entered, I'll click the New button, and I'll be prompted for the next record. I'll just enter three or four more in plates. When I click Next, it will give me the opportunity to save my data that I have entered. But what I'm going to do is click Cancel and open an existing text file that I have already created. I'm going to make a suggestion here. If you have not used Print Merge before, or are not sure how to format an existing set of data so that you can use it with Print Merge, save the file and look at it later. This will be a great guide. Now, from the File menu, I'll select Print Merge, then Create Load Merge Fields. This time, I'll select Import Text from a File or ODBC Data Source and click Next. I'll browse to where my text file is located. Click Next. On this screen, I have the ability to add or edit my fields. I'm just going to click Next. Here you can see the records that are contained in the text file. I have the ability to edit any record. I also have the ability to add or delete a record. Click Next. If I've made any changes to my data, I'll then be prompted to save. Otherwise, I can continue. I'll click Finish. To build the document, we will add the first merge field, the room number. To do this, make sure that the drop-down to the left of the Insert button on the Print Merge toolbar is set to Room, and then click the Insert button. This will place the variable on the document. Next, select Subject from the drop-down and click Insert once more. I'm going to resize my text and position it where I want it. For the room number, I'll make it 100 points, Arial, and the subject will be 48 point Arial as well and both will be center justified. Now new to CorelDRAW X4 is the Merge to New Document feature for Print Merge. What this will do is allow you to create a brand new document using the fields and data that has just been entered. This is a great time and material saver that I can quickly prove my job before I begin the output. I'll click Merge to New Document and you can see that a new document is being created. I can now proof the file by clicking through the pages using the Page Down key. Now, to output the file, I'll click on File, then Print. I'm going to say Yes to this dialog because I want to change the page orientation. Next, I want to set my proper page size. and I'm going to output to my printer. I'll click on Print Preview. 
By clicking on the Imposition Layout tool, it will enable me to dictate how many images horizontally and vertically I want to lay out. I'm going to lay out three columns and four rows. Now, when I click on the Pick tool, I'll get a preview. Now, a simple matter of sending it out. If your document expands over more than one signature, you can print one at a time by going to the File menu and selecting Print This Sheet Now. For sequential numbering, such as in a ticket, the process is almost identical. Here's how you would set that up. I'll open my file of the ticket that I've created. From the File menu, I'll select Print Merge, then Create Load Merge Fields. I'll select Create New Text. In the Number field, I'll type Ticket, then click on the Add button. Under Field Name, if I select the field called Ticket, my numeric options become available. I can set the numeric format, choose to continually increment the numeric field, and set a starting and ending value. For this ticket run, we'll set the numeric format here, deselect continually increment the ticket, set the starting number to zero, and we'll only require 50 tickets for this run. Click Next you can see that my records have already been created for me. I'll choose not to save the record. I'll insert the number and format it the way that I want. Now, if I need duplicate numbers on the same ticket, I'll just duplicate the field. I'll now go through the various print stages so we can take a look and see what our final output will look like. So, as you can see, with the power of CorelDRAW X4, it is very easy to use Print Merge to save time and money.